TV. Live and direct with Rain now. What up? What's up, boy? Cooling, cooling. Chilling, chilling. What you working on, man? I know you got the album coming out. What's going on with that, man? The new album is called A Perfect Day to Die. It'll be out soon. Alright, word. Right. So, yeah. yo, a lot of people don't know, man, like a lot of the trailers and shit that goes on behind the scenes, you know, you do a lot of the production for, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we just wanted to catch up with you with this um, Rookies vs. Vets call coming up. You know, I know you did a lot of the uh, production surrounding the promotion. We just wanted to see what the process was, how you put the beats together, and, you know what I mean? No doubt, yeah. Well, this one right here, um, for the last Rookies vs. Vets, well, for the Rookies vs. Vets trailer, <clears throat> I had the beat using this David Ruffin sample. Everybody pretty much knows this song, If I Love You Is Wrong, I Don't Wanna Be Right. So we use that sample. <clears throat> I just took the beginning piece of it. So this is the original sample. A lot of people don't really let their samples be known, but I don't really care because I believe it's really on how you chop it. That was the part I used. You know, this is my weapon of choice, the machine. A bunch of candy wrappers up here, so good. But, um, yeah, what I basically did was I just took that piece and I chopped it into like 16 different pieces. I could, I, it's really just a loop. So, you know what I'm saying? So I just chopped it up, so as you see, into different pieces. And I just arranged it how I wanted the sound, which was like a basic loop. I started with. This is the drum loop, I mean the um, sample loop. Got that going. Then I had these drums. I played it a little different, but you get that idea. I just wanted to show y'all what kind of those drums I use. The drums is actually off of the Jake One Snare Jordan kit. If y'all want to go out there and get them. And I just. change up for the hook part which was um I had a different pattern right here just for the intro of the hook <clears throat> which was, it wasn't too much different just a different drum a different drum loop mm -hmm. on average how long does it take you to make a beat anywhere from 15 minutes to two days it just depends on what it is I'm a man of desperation. Can't you help me? You know, need a way to give us some, some bottom. I'm a man of desperation. Can't you help me? Now, a lot of times, you know, most of the, most of the beats that you've done have been heard. Yeah. So this was one I did for um. So I got a machine too opened up right now. <clears throat> I did. I always swap back and forth. I don't know why they pretty much do the same thing, but um, I did this one, the Born Legacy beat. I took from that. 
noticed like most of the beats that you're picking, you know, they're like more so like soulful, soulful beats. Is that for a reason? Do you think it fits, you know what I mean? What was going on with URL, you know, for, in terms of the trailers or the art form period? Is there a particular reason yeah, why? Yeah, I mean, when I, I, when I do beats, I just do them. My sound, my sound is naturally just raw, raw hip hop, raw soulful music, and and you know, like even the samples. If you if you listen to them, I'm not really doing too much chopping to them. It's just basically just trying to find a good vibe, a good loop. I, I certain certain beats I chop them up crazy, but for the most part, just trying, trying to find a real gutter loop. And it's just you know the URL, the whole movement is just has that feel anyway, so it just matches. It just happens to match. So, but this was the, the same thing from the just two other pieces. Added a dope drum loop to it. Back to the string part too. Southern sound really came in. Like with the southern people playing original sounds, but it was like these techno kind of sounds, trap beats, as people would call them. And I didn't rap with on those type of beats. So in order for me to be able to, you know, make songs and the way I wanted to make them, there was no producers making beats that I would rap on. So I just decided to try my hand at it. And I got pretty good, if I should say so myself. That, that that particular sound, so, you know, more so you created these beats out of necessity as opposed to... Definitely. Right, right. It was, I never thought about making beats. I never thought, like, I'd be a producer or a beat maker, whatever you want to call it. I just did it because I needed some dope hip-hop beats. And I was listening to, you know, Pete Rock, and I came up listening to Premier and shit like that. And, you know, just wanting to make shit like that. And nobody was making them. The guys that were making them were Premier and Pete, Pete Rock, and we can't afford those beats. So, make our own. Do you think that, you know, that particular sound, you know, with the popularity of trap music and, you know, other sounds, that, other styles of music that is out, do you think, like, that art form with making the beats with hardware and stuff like that is kind of, like, diminishing? Is it going away? You know what I mean? No, I just think, you know, you have to look for it. It's not as mainstream, but hip-hop music, you can always find it. There's always people doing hip-hop music and practicing hip-hop. But, you know, it just might not be on the radio. It might not be on TV. You might have to, have to look a little deeper to find the type of music that you enjoy. But I don't think it's there. I don't think it's, it could never die. It's the, it's the foundation of, of all of this. Swing to it. 
MCs have a discrepancy within the MC battle culture. Jason, to be 100% honest, we was gonna fuck you up, bro. Y'all gonna go fuck shit up. Don't do that with me, bro. I will hurt you. I heard you. I heard you. There's only one stage in the world where differences can be settled. You think you said I'm gonna smash you, bro? If you win, you'll learn anything I will. And you know I would. You a little nigga. You a little nigga. You know I smash you. We did. No. Versus Aver, Saturday, May the 9th, in New York City at Irving Plaza. Tickets are on sale now. This is URL. Make sure you get your tickets in advance to secure entry to this monumental event. Aver versus K-Shine. URL. Can't copy it. Respect. Look, I don't even like to keep running my mouth. Right, you feel me?